When I reviewed the new Canik TTI Combat, a lot of you had questions, good questions, asking how it might compare to the Rival or how it might compare to the steel frame. And those who paid attention to the tabletop saw that the slide mass on this is actually more similar to the Mete SF. So I have an idea. I'm gonna to try to compare these and try to get us some answers coming up next on GB Guns. So how does this test work? <laughs> well, I've got a uh, torso at seven yards with a bullseye on it and an A-zone in the middle. I developed this when I was trying to compare and contrast the different double stack 1911s. I uh, did a video for that using the same method and I found some interesting discoveries came out of it. The bullseye is for a rapid group that is trying to group well but erring on speed over taking my time to really shoot well. Five shots up there, then move to the A zone and dump six. I've got a shot timer here. It doesn't have a uh, delay on it, so I'll subtract the start time from the final time. We can take a look at splits and we'll see what kind of differences we get. Also, any commentary I feel. Now, why these four guns? Well, you guys asked about the steel and the Rival S. I think the Meta SF has some similarities to it. Don't worry, before each gun, I'll uh, give you a little what is it and what's on it and all that, because they are all wearing dots. First up is the Meta SF. This is sort of the handicap and the control. I chose it because it's got roughly the same slide mass as what's on the TTI Combat. That's right, even though it's a much bigger gun, it's got about a Mete SF length slide, although more material has been removed from it so it's lighter. This is wearing a Shield RMSC. This is probably the biggest handicap on this gun. It is also a little bit cramped for my hands. Uh, the four inch 15 rounder is a little bit small for me. So this will be our starting point. Let's see with the Meta SF, how we do. Five up top. The dot's almost dead. Six in the middle. All alphas. Group, not my favorite. 1014 was the finish time, started at 483. Magic math to subtract there, and my splits looks like 0.21. Two, 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 three, two, zero, oh, somewhere around there. So keeping it at that controllable speed rate. Gun number two is the Rival. This, of course, is an SFX length gun with lightning to the slides. I do have an aftermarket, well, it's a Canic barrel, but the Canic um, threaded barrel on there. I don't think that's going to make much of a difference. And we have the Mechanic M01 um, micro dot on there. So. It's more similar sight picture to what I just dealt with. That's why I went in this order. Five up top. Six below. All alphas group looked a little bit better. And 874 was the finish time. 386 was the start time. Magic math. We got 0.21 split. 0.262327.25. Interesting. That gun to me had a better rhythm, felt a little bit smoother and easier to stay on, and my um, six and the torso are all fairly close. Um, group up top looked pretty good. Round three is the Rival S. This has the lock brass grips on it taking the total weight over three pounds, and I've got a Viridian RFX 35, I believe it is. Yes, green dot on here. My favorite of the dots, the heaviest of the guns. How's the Rival S going to perform? Five up top. Six below. That was stupid easy. <laughs> that was... That was so easy. Uh, 914 finish, 392 for shot, magic math, and uh, splits of 27, 24, 28, 44. I'm not sure these splits are. Yeah, because I did have some stutter in there. But um, 
That was super comfy, <laughs> silly, easy to do. <laughs> now I'll reset and we'll do the TTI combat. And the main event, the one everyone's been waiting for, the Canic TTI combat wearing the Mechanic MO3. During the main review, we were in the worst of the pollening, as uh, the memes like to refer to this season in Oregon. Uh, the pollen was all over the screen. It made it difficult to see the dot. We've had some recent rain wash a lot of that out of the air. I'm not having that problems uh, today, so we should be okay. Let's see how we do. Five up top. Six below. Hmm, I had a little more bounce. They're all still alphas. Uh, two of them got low and wide, but that felt equally pretty darn easy. Eight, or eight second finish, first shot at 361. Magic math. Splits 0 0.22, 24, 24, 24, 22. So you get the idea. What's the conclusion after running these four guns? Well, I only ran each drill once, picked up the gun and went for it. I wasn't practiced or warmed up or dialed in with any one of the guns. So what you were getting there was a raw performance, not a highlight reel. Um, certainly not, if anything, a worst case scenario for each of them. The Canic TTI combat felt incredible. I certainly felt the advantage and edge with it. However, the three pound chonker Definitely was smooth and easy to shoot. I think uh, there, it's tough to replace weight if you are competing and weight is a consideration. Of course, this is extra cheating with the brass grip on it. Um, the TTI Combat is probably the way to go. The rival was very well behaved and our control and our basic Meta SF, of course, had the biggest disadvantage uh, especially for me personally, not only is this uh, RMSC need a new battery, it's getting, getting pretty weak, but it's a small window and my hand doesn't fit the gun. It's just on the edge of able to get on there, but rather cramped. So I was least comfortable with it, but I think it served as a good control to compare the speeds. I'm curious to hear your thoughts, what you guys saw um, in the times and what you saw watching the footage. Let me know what your thoughts are between them. If you have any other questions or want comparisons between these, let me know what those are. Maybe some of those ideas will lead to a future video. It's really tough to do all of these fairly across the board, especially since everybody wants to see dots on there. I don't have four of the same dots. So um, you just gotta take what you get. Uh, and we all have our own dot preferences. I think running it all with irons would probably be better, but that's just because I'm more of an iron shooter. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching.